Baby, so what is going on with Miss Wanda? Listen, what is going on with Miss Wanda and Melody? Honey, I heard Melody wasn't even talking to Miss Wanda. I saw Melody's live, and she was um, talking about, you know, what happens, you know, when certain people don't have a mother and a father in their life. And, you know, she says that, you know, you just have to pray about those type of situations. Why is Miss Wanda all up in the Kool-Aid, don't know the flavor, like, girl? And then Melody was mentioning that sometimes some people are jealous of that. There, I do think that there are some uh, women that be jealous that, you know, um... Melody, okay, I'll say her name, okay. Melody got Miss Van, Miss, I don't do, get her. Okay, I just, I just, I just don't do the get her. Absolutely, like, my mother is a hard-working mother, and, you know, she leads by example, and, you know, I, I don't know what Tisha Mama doing over there. She over there arguing with herself because when nobody even talking about her. Child, and, and then Miss Wanda tried to take a hit at Melody and, you know, and Miss Van. And she got to saying some stuff like, yeah, you know, um... Melody shouldn't be, she didn't really say Melody name, but I knew what she was talking about. She was trying to make it look like um, Melody just allowed anybody to watch her kids and Martell is right. She didn't say his name, but I knew what she was alluding to. Martell is right by not allowing Melody to let just any and everybody keep the kids overnight. I never allowed um, anybody to keep my kids overnight on the weekend, you know, uh, cause I love my kids. Everything I do is for my kids and I'm a good mother and don't talk about nobody's mama. How was Melody talking about Latifa when Latifa, you've been around, you know, well, shit, was you a teen mom? Shit. I mean, I'm just saying, were you a teen mom when you had Latifa? Wanda and Tisha give me the impression that they grew up together. You better reckon size. They give me the impression that they grew up together. I don't get the motherly and daughterly connection that Melody and Miss Van has, where you could tell Miss Van really poured into Melody. I don't feel like Wanda did that. There are some women that are mothers, but they never gave their daughter a healthy foundation. Um, their daughter isn't confident. She has went out and ac accomplished all these degrees, still don't have a lick of sense that God gave her, honey. Okay, she still copy and paste everybody's ideas. That is not normal behavior. That is behavior... Um, from somebody that has low self-esteem, from somebody that does not love and value themselves and, and see themselves for being the original and authentic uh, version of themselves. Um, I just don't feel like Tisha really has a lot of love for herself. And everybody keeps saying on that, um, on that last episode, the one before this last one, you know, when she was at Miss Nail's party, oh, Tisha was just hammered and, you know, no. Uh, I don't think it was because she was just shrinking. I'm not going to sit up here and just be like, oh, she was acting like her mother. That was how Tisha really gets down. But Tisha does not own her bad behavior. She likes to deflect she likes to project and she likes to point her finger at other people and accuse them of being mean and evil. And they think that they all that they think that they better, but what about you and your bad behavior? And I'm here to tell you guys, people that can't self reflect people, um, that can't hold themselves accountable and responsible for their bad behavior. Um, they are not good people. I don't care how much they go to church, how much they tithe. Um, that's being a toxic person in my book, 101, because you got to um, hold yourself 
accountable for your bad behavior. Um, you got to um, admit when you do people wrong. You got to admit when you're jealous and envious of people. Tisha don't own none of that. It comes out with her bad behavior. It comes out with her words. Now she got this disdain for Stormy. Because she's threatened by Stormy's success, right? She likes Destiny because Destiny is struggling. There are people that will like you just because you're struggling. Just because you can't really get your shiggity together. They like that version of you. And then as soon as you progress and go to the next level because what happened with melody as she began progressing in her career uh tisha felt the way about that okay no i just think that when mel get it together you know she don't need you no more why are you so damn needy find something to do and I cannot stand people that think you got time to be on the phone with them all the time. Or because you don't call them all the time, that means you don't love them. Some of y'all got to get y'all self-esteem together before you get in any relationship. Not just a man-woman relationship, but friendships. You got to have your house in order first. You got to know who you are first. And... um Tisha don't know who she is. She don't really have the example of a good mother to put her in her place and let her know when she's wrong. Um, I feel like Miss Wanda um, makes Tisha's behavior worse. She tries to fight Tisha's battles. She does, and she needs to learn to stay out of stuff. You ain't even been on the show the last couple of seasons because you be out here running your damn mouth being reckless at the tongue. Okay, so I just feel like Miss Wanda is is a bit ignorant. Okay, ignorant, and you know she need to do better. She need to get her shiggity uh, together. But yeah, I kind of saw through what Miss Wanda was kind of trying to say about Mel. Y'all know that it had came out through Arion with her phone conversation with the original straight no chaser that melody you know was probably essayed or something as a child from i guess one of the mom's boyfriends or something i still don't even know if all of that is true but for miss wanda to try to throw that dig in there now she didn't come out right she didn't come out and, and just say it like that, but that's kind of what I got from it. Yeah, because I, I don't allow just anybody around my child, and that wouldn't happen to my child. And now you criticizing Melody on, on who she allows to watch her children, and it's like, girl, hang that shit up, Miss Wanda, flat screen style. Hang that up. You need to stay up out of this. You bitter and jealous of male, too of her power on the show. Your daughter ain't got no power. Okay? She's still to help. <laughs> her and my soul. <laughs> you got a die soul brand new. Yeah, honey, that Latifa and Miss Wanda, they lack self-awareness. Self-awareness is so important, you guys, to your growth to your maturity, to your spirituality. Um, when you lack self-awareness, when you always uh, point the finger at other people, trying to blame them for stuff, like that type of stuff, it makes people lose respect for you. And this doesn't help Latifa, her mother, acting out like this. You got people, let me read what somebody says. They actually on Miss Wanda's side. Miss Wanda, you read mail for filth. What is your cash app? You need, you deserve to be rewarded for this read. She don't need to be, um, rewarded for her bad behavior. It's horrible. It's deplorable. That's why your ass ain't been on the show. I would shut my damn mouth if I wanted to be back on Love and Marriage Huntsville. Okay? And one person says you think it's okay for a woman to sit up and disrespect someone else's children. Yes, yeah, send her some money. Maybe she can get that food truck up off the ground. Is Marceau still helping with that? 
Because child don't nobody want none of that nasty ass food. That beans, peas, potatoes, <laughs> and disease. <laughs> um, another person says, jokes aside, the whole thing made no sense and sounded cray cray. Mel spoke on something a friend confided in her. How was that a reference to Wanda? Yeah, they thought that Melody was talking about her and Latifa, and then I kind of thought of Destiny a little bit because I'm like, um, not so much that Mel was talking about Destiny, but yeah, I think that's why um, Destiny a little bit jealous of Mel. You know, Mel has her mother. Mel has a woman to reassure her. What Destiny got? Them damn lottery tickets. A copy and paste friend like Latifa that ain't gonna tell her the truth. Okay, a real friend, you guys, is going to tell you the truth. When you're wrong, when you need to do better, they're going to tell you. Y'all just have to be ready to hear it. Some of y'all don't be ready to hear stuff. You feel like, ah, oh, they, they being so mean to me. You got to watch out, you guys. And I've heard Latifa say that. Mel's a mean girl. You're always mean when you're trying to uh, tell people the truth. When you're trying to get them to be accountable and responsible for their actions and their bad behavior. You're always mean. You're always evil. You mean and evil when you got boundaries. Don't I know it? It's the story of my life. I could be minding my business and people will be, she just so mean. I just, ooh, I just don't like her. She thinks she's so much better than everybody else. All of that type of stuff starts with you. How you feel about yourself. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay? Ain't got nothing to do with no male. Another person says, Wanda looked like a damn fool with her illiterate, not English speaking self. She made herself look and sound so stupid. Yeah. She just looked a mess. Stay out of stuff. Child of people are dragging Latifa. Three degrees and no common sense and no sense of self-worth. She would have been better off without Wanda as a parent. Yeah, because Miss Wanda is the type of parent that's going to tell you, you doing good in life because you got a husband. It don't matter um, if you probably think he cheating. It don't matter if he still ain't finished your office. He can't get up to say a few kind words. He can't get his ass up and take you and the kids to Africa the first time he went, not the not the second time. Okay, like he ain't you know, you're not even on his mind like that. So yeah, I think that and Tisha is a dark sided Libra and dark sided Libras operate from the space of as long as I have it as long as I have a wife, okay? It, she don't have to be my equal. She ain't got to be a good wife. Um, that's That would probably be a dark-sided, uh, dark-sided Libra male. But a dark-sided Libra woman, as long as I have a husband, I got a husband. How many times have we seen Latifa on the show throw her, her marriage in people's face? Put some respect on my marriage. I still got my man. My man, my man, that be putting me last. That be telling me I don't have the right to be upset about certain stuff. That's abuse. But a lot of you all, you skip right through it because he not going upside her head. Y'all skip right through that. Okay, y'all skip right through how he disrespect this woman, but you haven't seen proof of a side chick, so you you feel like he is as faithful as they come. No, I could tell he didn't did something to her, and her ass ain't going no damn where. I don't give a damn if she saw the pictures because she saw the damn um. She saw the messages with him and, and the woman with the big booty and all of that and still was sitting up there lying about the time frame of that. Yeah, Latifa ain't going nowhere and she ain't got me fooled. Well, she can stay in her marriage. Yeah, you can. St listen, listen. I don't have an issue with you staying in your marriage. I just need you to shut your ass up. Stop acting like your marriage is perfect. Stop trying to act like... um. You uh, you married a better man than, than what Melody did because his ass ain't no better, in my opinion, than Martell. He ain't no better. He don't even want to spend time with the kids. At least hook-headed will, look, put on an act, put on a show, 
Now he about them kids. My boy love his kids. He love them. He take up trick or treating. He he buy a lunch. He do everything for them kids. <laughs> But yeah, Marcel, he ain't even want to babysit his kids. No, I don't care how talented you are, how rich you are. That does not look good. But y'all write it off as, well, Marcel funny. And Marcel is funny. I give him that. But that type of shit is not funny to me. I'm sorry. And Latifa ruined it when she told uh, Melody, yeah, your husband, you still stayed with your husband and he cheated on you. And she couldn't wait to say that. Why? A hater. Okay, she's a hater. What type of friend would even say something like that? You don't fight like that. I don't give a damn if it is true. You don't throw weaponize somebody's hurt and pain. But because she's male identified, that's what she do. I need to throw this man in your face. You can't keep this man. Any of us can keep a man. All we got to do is neglect what we want out of this life and make our whole life about that man and worship him and act like a pick me like it's easy to keep a man okay but shit we want the right man okay we want somebody that got some sense okay we want a provider a protector i want somebody that Loves me for me, not telling me to, yeah, well, that part of you isn't acceptable or that part of you disrespects my ego or you don't have the right. I wish a motherfucker would. You don't have a right to have an opinion about this shit. Y'all already know, Miss Robinson, don't play that bullshit. I just wish he would have went out of town to Africa and didn't take me. I wish he would. And and don't get me started on Maurice. He ain't no better either. But this is the thing, though. Y'all think that these men are so much better than Martell because they didn't cheat and, and where you could see it or the side chick ain't out here torturing Kimmy and Latifa. Do you see what I'm saying? Y'all be thinking they are in better marriages than what Melody is in. Hell no, they ain't burning houses. They just trying to smile while they while the damn smoke, damn smoke detector going off. People calling nine one one. Okay, the ambulance is on its way, and they just smiling. It's all good. It's good. Everything is all right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Long as I smile, and I don't think everybody cheats just because it happened in mail. Everybody ain't like that, and child bye <laughs> okay they ain't got miss robinson fooled i know what i'm looking at them niggas ain't no better than martell hook headed hoax okay and every once in a while it comes out it came out with uh kimmy's illness and maurice talking about he just gotta have sex and, and kimmy just bends over and takes it and yeah, so, like, it, it has a way of coming out. The truth always come out, and the truth needs and no proof. How you doing? Miss Wanda, in my opinion, she remind me of one of my aunties. I had an aunt that she really wasn't a mother to her children. She wanted to be the children's friend. And when you are too busy, caught up with trying to be your child's friend, you're not telling them when they right and when they wrong and when they need to fall back and when they need to let some shit go and when they need to not be petty. You go help them be petty. You go, do you see what I'm saying? So she's more like a peer to Tisha than a mother. That's why she's so offended by what Melody said. Melody wasn't even talking about them people. But a hit dog will always holler. And that's what Miss Wanda is doing. And that's why your ass ain't on the show no more. Okay, gal. <laughs> Sit down, gal. Don't make me get the sheriff on you and Latifah. Oh, and while we on it, did y'all hear what Ariane had to say? talking about my piece has been so different lately she took to her social media i noticed she ain't been going live like that what y'all think that's about you don't want all that attention huh heifer i ignore everything and everybody lol laughing emoji drama bitches niggas shade everything 
I bet you will ignore it because you don't want to be dragged for being a side chick that hustled backwards that's still on that bench. Okay, another person that should be ashamed of themselves, but they're not. <laughs> I think that Ariane um, thought that, you know, I think she thought that she was better than Melody. She was going to take this nigga with her eyes closed, even though I wish that my eyes was closed when I'm looking at you. I mean, I'm just saying shit. Okay, mess around and mess up Miss Robinson's fish. But I think she thought that, you know, and a lot of women with low self-esteem that's unattractive like her, uh, they get off like that, trying to compete with women that they don't compare to. She'll never be on Melody's level, and she knows it now. But I think she was a little confused, okay? She had a little bit of cognitive dissonance, honey, when it came to that at one point. But yeah, she, you know, things didn't work out for her the way that she thought. That's why she's so quiet. Because I saw a lot of content creators saying, well, she ain't on live no more and she ain't doing all, uh uh-uh. That bitch over there eating humble pie. Quiet as a church mouse because everything is not what it's cracked up to be. Martell still got her on the bench. He's still dating everybody but her. He has not married her. He just put a baby up in her, which is what all the all the women get. Okay? Anybody could get a baby. Okay? So I bet your ass is over there ignoring everything. And you are being ignored from the first floor. Okay, but yeah, you know, things didn't work out for her. So now it's like, let me be quiet. Let me, you should have been doing that, bitch. It's too late now. Talked all that shiggity. Okay, and the chickens have come home to Bruce. Yes, they did. But yeah, she ain't got me fooled, you guys. Ain't no my peace and you want peace because they was wearing her ass out, turning her ass every which way from Friday when it came to Martell and people didn't like her bragging about sleeping with that lady husband and then you didn't turn around, had all these abortions and stuff. Just a mess, whole train wreck of a mess. Okay? A mess. So, yeah, it ain't so much she wants peace. She she got sick of being dragged because they was dragging her ass. They was dragging her, and she tried to say what Martell said. Oh, they just bitter because they was cheated on it. No, I think that people, they didn't like your attitude. Same thing with Sonny. It ain't so much of what you do. It's just how you do stuff. And, you you know, they they don't like that Sonny coming all at Destiny, saying little smart stuff. You over there with her ex, okay, be quiet about it. But same thing with you. You thought she was better. Okay, you thought she was the better option, the better choice. Okay, you thought that... (laughs) You thought that that man was going to choose you. That's what the pygmies do. They want to be chose, honey. Okay, they want to be chose. He picked me. He wanted to be with me. He picked me to be in a burning house. He didn't want her. A lot of these men don't want certain women, not because they not bad. It's just they can't control them, so they don't have no use for them. Men, on the first floor, they want women they can control, okay? And they will come in on that feminine tip of, yeah, I just want somebody that's feminine, that's submitting. See, all of that shit, all of it is control. So they can control you. And some of y'all is over here, boo-boo, oatmeal pie facing it. Y'all is just caught up, honey. Caught up in the rapture, honey. Mm Mm-hmm. Say it ain't so, say it ain't so, but y'all get caught up with that. Yeah, I'm going to submit to my man. I'm going to be the more feminine option, all of that, to control you, okay? So I will watch out for that because it'll set that ass up every time. But anyways, you guys, that's all I got to say about all of this with Ariane, Miss Wanda, Melody, like, child, it's sad that this woman got so many people that hate her. Miss Wanda, Latifa, Ariane, A.A., like, Martell, the list goes on and on, okay? You really must be that girl, honey, when you got all these people up against you. But, honey, um... 
That's all I got to say about this. Don't forget, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. I am your girl, brand new, and I will check you guys out in the next video.